Hey, buddy, welcome back to Let's Play Mortal Kombat X, brought to you by MuchGames.ca. And basically, as usual, like we did in the first video, once we get to the first fight of this chapter, I will start commentating again. So, we'll see you in a few minutes, probably. 20 million. Emperor. What's the expression? It's not worth a turn on my shoe. Kotal Khan has always bargained with the fairy hero. Sure, sure. I'm just saying. Upgraded weapons, my intel, and poof. The long outworld civil war. Done. Might be nice to kick back a bit, eh? You know Melina's location. And a whole rebel army. It's gotta be worth at least 50. I must attack her immediately, end this conflict. As you say, it drains us. Right. Do we have a deal? What is it, Devora? The Emperor should not be concerned. Accident ahead. This one will cure it. Make way for Kotokan! Move! The Tarkatans are in position. We await your order. It is given, dearest Tanya. Stopping a carriage is nothing. Killing an emperor... False emperor! ...requires power. Power you have, Melina. And won't use. It pains me to use it, Rain. I need more time. The usurper's excursion came too soon. The rain falls when it may. No matter. If Kano does what I paid him to do. Now! Do it! You said a mouthful. of aid was but wind and air keep your 50 million melina's given me twice that to take you out more like three and a half four minutes later almost but yeah we are fighting kano and we're using total khan which is pretty big and powerful but he's not really a character to use oh cool you can pick up the barrel do a barrel roll 
No, seriously. He is a pretty cool character. Uh, ooh, Lizard. But, yeah, let's just give him a big boot like The Undertaker would do or something like that. <coughs> I wonder what his x-ray looks like. Maybe we'll find out here. Let's see if I can learn some of the moves here. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that is... Okay. That x-ray is cool. It's definitely better than Johnny Cage's. Then again, who isn't better than Johnny Cage? Cannonball that freaking Kano used to do in Mortal Kombat 1. He's come a long way. Big boot. You're not worth the dirt on my shoe. I'm pleased you remember me, Koata. I will never forget those who freed Melina. She vowed to create a free Edinia, something you refused to do. A united outworld stands strong against its enemies. It will never be united under your rule. Your rebellion is all that prevents it. Alright, now it looks like we're taking on Tanya. Now, she's in, not a newcomer to Mortal Kombat. She's been in previous Mortal Kombat games. So, she, I think she was in Mortal Kombat 4? Yeah, I think. Yeah, if I'm right, she was Mortal Kombat 4. And, uh, yeah. We're kind of kicking her ass here. And as soon as I say that, she starts beating on us. I'm gonna sit, probably try to save the x-ray for uh, the uh, next round. Oh jeez, come on. I can't lose the freaking what's her name, Tanya. There we go. We'll have to, we'll use the x-ray in the, there we go. Ooh, I... Really hope Cole and Old Woman 2 is letting Colette watch this. Well, hopefully Colette's watching this because I know she likes this type of game. And, uh, yeah. Let's just back her into a corner. Oh, that's a cool combo she got to back up into that, like, fireball type thing. That is pretty cool. So it looks like in Outworld here, he. Kodokan is claiming that he's the new Emperor, but Melina is still thinking that she is in charge. You know, she's the heir to this because of, you know, Shaka being you know, her father. You are a fool to trust Melina. She tasks me. For the last time. Melina. Kano was to kill you, miserable snake. Runate! Another Adenian, the supposed half god. Kogate! I am a son of Argus. I was not merely declared a god by befuddled commoners, Bulak. Surely Melina suspects your true intentions, son of Argus. 
And then we're taking on Vayne, who's actually a DLC in Mortal Kombat 9. Uh, but yeah, Vayne. Sun God, apparently, is what Kota Khan is. So yeah, Vayne was a character that you could get as a DLC, like I said, in Mortal Kombat 9. And he's a pretty cool character. I do like Vayne. He's a pretty cool character. But I'm really starting to dig this Kota Khan guy, character. Ooh, I hit him with a barrel. Or, was that a barrel or a person? That was a barrel. Okay, so there should be four fights in this round, in this uh, chapter. So this is round fight three. I'm assuming fight four is probably going to be Melina. I'm assuming we're going to get our hands on Melina. That's just a assumption. But anyway. Oh look, lightning! Yeah. The sun part. Because remember he Ooh, lightning effects. Because remember he is a sun Kurokan is a sun guard. Well, apparently. Yeah, let's just back you into a corner. I know it's cheap, but you know what? Let's just hit you with the X-ray. To finish you off. Need to go. Right. Next. That should silence you. You won't touch him again. But I will. As the heir to my father, Shao Kahn, I, Melina, Kahnam of Outworld, order your execution! And what did I tell you? Melina is next. So, Melina's ca uh, character has changed quite a bit here, apparently. The outfit's changed. Of course, she still has that freaking annoying teleport jump. But, uh, yeah, this is a big, big, big boot here. Yeah. yeah, that's just a big boot here. Yeah. Okay, no, seriously, that's... Oh. Can I just please get a hit on you? Can you let me have a hit? Thank you. Game. <laughs> it's like she doesn't even block it. She's like, yeah, I'm not going to block your move. But now I got you. If I didn't do that, she probably would have got me. Need to skull. Okay, round two. Oh yeah, I want to see what. Oh, this looks pretty cool. He's throw move. Shocks you and throws you. Oh, cool. I like how his uppercut is basically two. He uses both his arms. Alright, so that's basically in this chapter. Because remember, there's only four fights a chapter. So, enjoy the cutscene, and I'll be back just to close out the video. Your blood will make right. Up the stair path. To the fire's edge.
Did my emperor see? A mere cub grown to be a jaguar. Once we hit the drop point, we split up. Jackie and I will come in from the south, you two from the west. Rendezvous here, the north entrance. Then what? A simple pick up and go? We bag him if he resists. Resistance might be more possible than you think. Don't sweat it. It comes to that, Sub-Zero won't know what hit him. Forward defenses stand down as you command, Grandmaster. It is confirmed. Four intruders. It is time to entertain our guests. All right, I've got point. You and Jim, that side. Move! You, I need to. You are not welcome here. State your intentions. Grandmaster, we need you to come with us. My name is Sergeant. You demand my cooperation, yet you are cut off. Surrounded. What will you do? My father always spoke highly of you, Sub-Zero. He wants to talk. Talking. Always his first choice. Okay. Let's try pummeling. Now! Wait! <laughs> Okay, so thanks for watching guys, and I'm gonna see you in part 3, where we take on the chapter with Sub-Zero. Thanks for watching guys, and see you in part 3.